Hi, this is Ed from Wright. Today we're going to do a test that shows you the effect of gallons per an hour of en every engine choice or machine choice that you can make. So here we have a large engine, 40 horsepower, it has a fuel injection so it runs more efficiently, 72 inch deck. This machine cuts very fast. Here we have an 18 and a half horsepower, 32 inch deck machine, more of a trim type mower. And we're going to measure this one. And then here we have a single cylinder engine. So this machine is going to be working a lot harder for that amount of area. But what we're going to do is we're going to take um, these tests. We're going to measure the amount of fuel we consume, measure the amount of area that we cut, time how long it takes. And we're going to turn that into gallons per acre. And we're also going to turn it into the cost of fuel and your cost of time and show you how each of this, these machines stack up against each other. As always, uh, we do our research and we bring you information that helps you understand how to run a more profitable business. And today we're answering the question that comes up around uh, which engine should I use and how many gallons per an hour do the different engines consume and that kind of, kind of thinking. And so um, it's, it's not necessarily intuitive. You know, the engines are rated at their you know, max amount of fuel they can uh, consume per an hour. And so you might see numbers of two, two gallons per an hour, these kinds of things. But the reality is in real world conditions, what does this mean? When we include the amount of time it takes to mow a certain area, what does it mean? If you have a very small engine that produces, that consumes very uh, little uh, gallons per an hour, but it's just out there for so long, it can consume more, or you could have a machine that's consuming more um, gallons per an hour, but it gets the job done really quick. And so they're, by getting it done quick, there's an efficiency with that. And so um, what we're looking at here is, well, well, first let me describe the test that we did. So uh, we went out in spring conditions. We cut um, you know, a moderately heavy grass, um, somewhat briskly. We we're really focusing on loading up the engine um, and we ran three different mowers. So the first mower we ran was a smaller machine. It was a 30 inch walk behind uh, Toro mower. So single cylinder engine, non EFI, non rider um, mower here. And then we ran a 32 inch standard B. So that's one of our smaller uh, stand on mowers. It's a rider, has a V twin carbureted engine. Those engine characteristics become important. And then we also ran the test with a 72 inch rider with a 40 horsepower EFI engine. This is a ZXT, big, heavy, highly productive mower. And um, when we got gallons per hour, these are the numbers we got, right? So like you'd expect, the little machine doesn't consume a lot of fuel per hour. The next machine consumes a little bit more. And obviously that big, you know, fire breathing dragon consumes, you know, the most amount of fuel per an hour. But there's something um, counterintuitive about all this that we'll talk about in a second. Now, when we did this test, we did a trial of each of these mowers, um, same day, same conditions. Uh, we measured um, how long we ran the machine for, the amount of square footage that we cut, and we measured the amount of fuel that we uh, consumed or put into the machine. And um, you know, we were careful to get our numbers as exact as we could, but also just recognize these are uh, individual samples of one each, right? So, you know, these numbers could shift a tiny bit if we did a much larger statistical study. But what I want to do here is really just show you the, the perspective here in that you don't really want to focus on your engine's gallon per an hour rating. You want to consider more, um, you know, what is your cost per an acre? And that's uh, what we're going to talk about here. So let me show you this chart. And you can see, right, these bar graphs go up as we go, more gallons per hour. But this chart here, um, what's interesting is now these go down, okay? And so this particular chart, we've broken it, into, we've broken it down into dollars. Um, the reality here is that these machines were somewhere around um, half a gallon acre. So this rider here was uh, 0.49 gallons uh, per acre. Um, we're calculating uh, fuel at two and a half gallons, two and a half dollars per gallon and labor at $14 an hour. Um, and, and while we're talking about this gallons per acre, we, so we used just under a half gallon of gas per acre. Now, when we talk about carbon sequestration, you can uh, note that um, a half a gallon of fuel is somewhere around three pounds of, of fuel. But when we cut um, an acre of grass, we probably sequestered maybe a few hundred pounds of grass. Um, 
and certainly there's some moisture in there and that kind of thing. But um, interestingly, mowing an area um, regularly, what you're doing is um, cutting off more carbon than you're consuming uh, when you're mowing. And so that's just a, a thought to tuck away. Now, as we did this test, uh, you can see here that this walk behind has a really large labor component. So, um, you know, we were cutting somewhat briskly with this machine, but um, its production rate, you know, it would have taken a little bit more than an hour to cut an acre. And so you have this very large um, labor expense. And we uh, were about $1.17 in terms of uh, fuel cost per acre. Now, the 32 inch stander here, um, it consumed actually more fuel. You can see here that um, it consumed just under a gallon of fuel to cut that area. And I think a big, big factor here is that compared to the bigger mower, this engine is a carbureted engine. And so it's not as efficient as the fuel injected engine and it's a rider. So it's going to consume a little more fuel just because of the weight and riding along. Right. Um, but you know, we saved a huge amount of time, um, on the labor to cut that area. Now, when we got to the 72 inch rider, you know, what I'm calling the fire breathing dragon, note that we only used a couple cents more of fuel to cut an acre, um, but we did it extremely quickly, right? So our total cost here um, per acre is just over $5, whereas with a much, much smaller machine that was just barely sipping fuel, but sipped it for a long time, you know, we were somewhere up here around $24 an acre. So my point here is that what you really have to think about is your opportunity cost. And that's the term I use all the time. And it's just, if you look at two options, um, how much more valuable is the other option? If you use a machine like this, instead of a machine like this all day long, you'll be able to cut somewhere around four times as many jobs. And so um, your ability to bring profit to your bottom line is really significant here. And the fact that consume more gallons per an hour here is somewhat an ir irrelevant point because in terms of fuel per an acre, it was actually quite efficient. And so um, I encourage you to not necessarily look at the engine specs on gallons per an hour. Certainly an EFI engine is a good choice, especially the bigger the machine is. But what you really want to consider here is all the factors that make that machine a quick, high performing machine. So those things could be uh, really big engines. Big engines, uh, they, they run at their midpoint instead of maxed all the way out. And when they run at their midpoint, they're more efficient and they last longer. So big engines, fuel injection, um, electronic governors, a machine with the center of gravity that's tight and near the middle, you're gonna be able to turn faster with it, maneuver faster with it. Um, you know, an engine paired with the deck where the deck can stay cleared out most of the time. And so the deck is not getting behind the work that you're doing. All these factors mean so much more than the engine's max fuel consumption number. So keep that in mind and um, just know that when you ride these bigger, more powerful machines, you're not necessarily consuming more, get more fuel for the amount of work that you're doing and the payback is huge. So hopefully that's helpful to you in understanding a little bit more about the relationship between gallons per an hour, gallons per an acre, and the choice, choices that you make when you select your engine. Big engines, EFI engines are great and they get more work done at the end of the day. Hope you have a good rest of your spring.